Coming at you from the Modesto B. The headline reads, 2,500 pounds of pot seized by sheriff deputies serving warrant near schools in Modesto. As a search warrant served at an illegal pot grow in Modesto on Friday morning, found about 900 plants pro plus processed marijuana, the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office reported. The search was conducted at 7 a.m. at a residence at the 900th block of Lenore Court, just east of Mark Twain Junior High School in West Modesto. 13 people initially were taken into custody and four firearms were seized, according to the beat. Sheriff Jeff Dursky posted on his own Facebook page photos from the incident that, <clears throat> and included a note that said, the team eradicated another illegal grow today. 2,500 pounds of processed marijuana seized and 10 criminals in jail. Great work. So a comment on the post that said the sheriff's office would better <coughs> spend its resources by going after fentanyl, which is quote, killing adults and children, Ersky replied that deputies do both and quote, illegal grows are the source of more crimes of violence than any other drug. About illegal grows, Schwartz told the B, this is obviously, as Sheriff Dursky alluded to before, one of the more predominant complaints that he gets from people that live in rural and urban areas. There's environmental concerns that come with it. There's a lot of home invasions that are motivated by marijuana. So this is our way of being proactive, trying to get out in front of them and address those concerns. Now, my friends, this is so much propaganda. I'm sure you can see in the photo there. I don't, Adam, can you go zoom in on the photo of the trailer? Do you, did you get the chance to show that while I was talking the about the article? There's a trailer with all these pounds packed up in the bank and it's, it's a lot of weed. It is. Mm -hmm. And as a business operator, I am not excited about the illicit market to compete with. I'm really not. Mm -hmm. it, and at the same time, I really just can't deal with some of these statements, you know, talking about how this is the, the big catalyst to all the drug problems. It's the biggest drug problem. It's, it's not, okay. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's not the biggest drug problem though, because it's not out there killing everybody. So I just want to turn this over to my correspondents this morning. It's Monday. This one's heavy. Cool. Excited to hear what you have to say. So Mandy, I find it extremely entertaining, the fact that he's saying that we're busting cannabis grows because of the fact that they lead to home invasion. So we're taking the proactive step. Like home invasion. Yeah, get the hell out of here with that shit. Stop it. Just stop it. Go and bust some fentanyl. How? Connect the dots fentanyl, for me. Fentanyl. And, and I'm not really going to say comes up with some home invasions do workers. happen. Do happen, and people lose weed in home invasions. This has happened. I've had lose home invasions. And this, 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 this is true. But in Sonoma County, we've had some amazing people lose their lives because out of towners have come to acquire unregulated cannabis, and instead of just stealing the cannabis, they've stolen the the names of some really great souls here in Sonoma County, especially in Sebastopol. So I, I, as much as I love to disagree with law enforcement, I, I don't entirely disagree with that. Uh, and I, we have to remember when we say that cannabis has never killed anybody, cannabis has never killed anybody, but the pesticides that are concentrated through the use of concentrates that are unregulated actually has killed somebody. We're the first generation in the history of humans that has killed people through cannabis because of pesticides and contaminants. And here's the thing. I don't think the sheriff should be posting this on his Facebook. Like if I was a defendant, I'm just really not trying to look at my case on your social. I do think fentanyl is a much bigger thing. Um, but look, you already hit the nail on the head, Mandy, when you started the thing. The best thing that's come from Modesto is Luke. And aside from that, I don't know how much more we got out there. Yeah, his that's family good. is pretty amazing, too. That but, is, that's um, a fair point. <laughs> out no, but Modesto, Modesto just needs to pump the brakes on weed. I mean, there are a lot bigger problems happening in Modesto. I spend a lot of time down there, and I could make a list if anyone at City Hall would like me to. Mm -hmm. so, um, on that note... I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Jason or Rico. But... And, 
and we're Tisk Modesto. I, 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 I love this. And this is this is total, total, total propaganda. I mean, in all reality, this cop is using all of these uh, anecdotal pieces of evidence to antiquate his 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 position. And because we all know it's all about the bigger the bust, the bigger the boost. And this these are the numbers that they use to justify how much money they should get annually and, and whatnot. And so it's a lot of propaganda going on. But nonetheless, we're going to go to a commercial. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 